गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टेल नो वी हैव डन चैप्टर सिक्स ए क्वेश्चन वन एंड टू नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ओके एंड आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस दैट वॉट एवर क्वेश्चन यू हैव डन हियर इन चैप्टर सिक्स यू हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सो सेम वे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू नाउ नाउ से यर Here, what is given? Five x plus eight minus two x is equal to fourteen. So here, we will bring this variable parts together. So five x minus two x, which will be equal to fourteen. And here, it is plus. It is changing its sign. So it will become minus eight. So five x minus two x that will be equal to three x. And fourteen minus eight it will be equal to six. So what will be the value of x? X is equal to six by three means three also came here. It will be in division. Here it is multiplication. So here it will be division. So six by three. So here what will be the value of x? X will be equal to two. Is there any confusion? Huh? So what will be the value of x? Two. Now is it clear to you? Now see in the B part. It is written what five x minus seven equal to minus ten. So firstly, what you will do? You will multiply inside the bracket. So five into x five x and five seven is a thirty five. So it will be equal to five x minus thirty five, which is equal to minus ten. Now five x it will be remaining here only, and minus thirty five when goes to the right hand side it will become. Plus thirty five. So minus ten plus thirty five. It will be equal to twenty five. So you will have five x is equal to twenty five. X will be twenty five, and this five when it will come, when it will be going to the right hand side, it will come in division. So you will have twenty five by five, and here at last x is equal to five. Correct. Now see the C part. Till here, is it clear to you all? Okay. Minus seven x minus eleven plus three x is equal to five. Okay. Now know what you have. Minus seven x plus three x is equal to five plus eleven. Because minus seven is same way you will write down three x same way, but here minus eleven is going towards the right hand side, so it will become plus eleven. Which will be further equal to four x is equal to sixteen, and what will be the value of x is equal to sixteen by four, and further x is equal to four. Okay, now minus seven x plus three x. You will write it together. Five and minus eleven going toward the right hand side. It will become plus eleven. So five plus eleven it will be equal to sixteen. X is equal to sixteen by four, and x will be equal to four. Is it clear to you? Here, just what you have to see here: changing of sign, place of variable, correct? And remembering that when you change the sign, then the operation will be of reverse order. Plus will become minus, minus will become plus. Multiply will become divide, and divide will become multiply. Now, is it clear to you? You can see it also. Here it is in multiplication. So when it came here, it becomes division. Okay. Here it is uh, minus eleven. When it has gone that side, it become plus eleven. Clear? Now see the D part.
it is 6 is equal to minus 2, 7 minus c. So you will have 6 is equal to minus 2, 7 is a minus 14 and plus 2c. Okay. x is equal to minus 14 plus 2c which will be not we sh what we should do we should bring variable part in the left hand side okay so it will be minus 2c is equal to minus 14 and minus 6 correct minus 14 minus 6 as we are changing the side sign are changing which will be equal to minus 2c minus 20 now see both side negative is there so it will be cancel out and further it will become c is equal to if it goes to division 20 by 2 so c is equal to 10 okay c is equal to 10 here minus 2c and here minus 14 minus 6 that will be equal to minus 20 both side left and right hand side both are negative so negative sign will be cancelled and c will become 20 by 2 that will be c is equal to 10. Correct? Is there any confusion till here in this one? It is just like your previous one. Hmm? Now let's solve this uh, e part. Okay? Till we, we are done. Now let's solve e part. What is that? 5, 1 minus 2 W plus 8 W is equal to 15. They will write 5 minus 10 W plus 8 W is equal to 15. So you can write this. Minus 10 W plus 8 W minus 2 W is equal to 15 minus 5. This 5 will go that side, it will become minus 5. So, minus 2w will be equal to my 10. And what will be the w equal to? 10 upon minus 2, it will be w is equal to minus 5. Correct? 5 minus 10w from here you will solve plus 8w. So, minus 10w plus 8w minus 5. 2w and 15 minus 5 that will be equal to 10. So w will be how much? 10 divided by minus 2. So w will be get it as minus 5. Is it clear? Huh? What, is, what are the things in which you have to be careful? While changing the sign, while changing the position of the variable and solving of brackets. Hmm? These are the 3-4 points where you have to be very very careful while solving this. Now, let us see F1. Now bring 3p on the left hand side. So you will have minus. 
minus 3k minus 15 plus 8 what you will have minus 7 and minus 17 okay so you will have minus 3p is equal to minus 24 both side minus minus sign are there so it will be cancelled out we will have p is equal to 24 upon 3 and p will be equal to 8 ok so how you will do 17 is equal to 3 p minus 5 plus 8 firstly we will solve this bracket so we will have 3p minus 15 plus 8 now 3p will bend over the left hand side so it will become how much minus 15 plus 8 minus 7 and this minus 17 will go towards the right hand side so minus 7 minus 17 it will be minus 24 so p will be 24 by 3 because minus and minus both are on both the side so p will be 24 by 3 and p will be equal to 8 is it clear uh, okay that's all for today and have a good day